Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 11 of Two Love Read Darkness, the second season. And finally, we finally, after, you know, 10 episodes, episode 11, we finally get the darkness or whatever. You know, we've been, you know, they talked about it a little bit in the before and every so often, but we didn't really get into it. And there's 14 episodes in this season, and this is episode 11, so there's only 12, 13, 14. Three more episodes, and I wonder how it's going to be like, especially with that ending, was just like, I did not expect that to be the darkness, you know? So pretty much, um, you know, we get the normal, lots of fan service, um, starts off with Momo, kind of like, you know, him, her and Rito in 69 position, looks like she's giving them a BJ. So, yeah, good for you, Rito. Talk a little bit about the harem and everything. Mostly this is a Yami-based episode, so they talk about her and everything. Talk to every, you know, trying to figure out, you know, about the darkness and everything. And um, one part <laughs> that I thought was super funny was, of course, you know, he tries to um, tell Yami to be nicer to um, Tiryu and everything. And it, you know, it's because he does, he wants her to be happy and she blushes and everything. So, you know, she is like the next one, it seems like, in line for his conquests for the harem route, it seems. And um, when he trips and falls, she's like... The laws of phys physics mean nothing to you. And I thought the same thing. Like, this is how I think every time something like this happens. It's like, there's no way. How do you get into that position? But, of course, you know, that that's part of what makes the show so funny. And these kind of stupid things that Rito gets himself into. And, like, how the hell did you get in that position kind of thing, you know? And pretty much, you know, there's a swimsuit. Pretty much all, all the girls in swimsuits swimsuit the pool part. It's always a good kind of episode. Tear you in a bikini and everything. And I was thinking about it. Like, you know, like, sure, they showed a bunch of the girls naked, and you know, all the time and stuff. But when you really think about it, scenes like this with Tear you in, like, a bikini like that, those are the best in the censored version, of course. Uncensored, obviously, come on. You know what's the best. But the censored version, like, when they're naked, it just straight you can't see crap it's worse you know so these are the kind of moments you're like ooh, dang you know those are for the censored version of course i can't wait for the uncensored after way i don't know how long we're gonna take probably when the blu-ray and stuff come on and everything but yeah um pretty much it's just been straight the first half is nothing too important i mean they're just really talking about yami you know, I mean, and everything trying to figure it out and then this is finally you know when Yami turns into the darkness it happens because we find out the key to her the darkness activating is pretty much peace when she's all fully at peace and she accepts it that's when she transforms because she's a weapon and yeah that's what they implanted into her and everything and she starts transforming and the transformation is um yeah, her hair pretty much molesting her. I was like, wow, um, okay. And the final thing to set her off was, of course, Nemesis pretty much telling her that Mia is, you know, not real. But, of course, I'm pretty sure she's real. That's why she's, like, stuck in the subconscious right now at the moment. And Nana doesn't believe it. But, obviously, it's enough for Yami to believe it. And Yami transforms and changes into darkness. Finally, after ten episodes of this, you know, season, thinking that... I mean, not completely 10 episodes. Like, they talked about the couple first, couple, couple of first episodes, and I was like, oh, okay, so this is going to happen sometime soon. And it takes, like, forever until finally it does now. And I did not expect this. Um, so, like, she, Nemesis is like, oh, how do you feel and everything? She's like, I'm feeling super pervy. And I'm like, wow, um, okay. <laughs> Oh, so this is going to be pretty interesting to see. You know, that's why I actually got really interested. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see the next episode. Because I guess it's like, it's kind of like, you know, Yami's darkness kind of thing. That's what I call it, darkness. It's kind of like her inner self, her everything she doesn't do. She doesn't, normally on the outside, she doesn't like, you know, pervy, perverted kind of stuff. But this Yami is her inner Yami kind of thing, her darkness Yami. And she loves perverted stuff, I guess. And. I don't know how that's going to destroy the world and everything. How this is going to go on. Is it going to be like that kind of thing where she's going to destroy the world? Or is she just going to be perverted and we'll get to see a whole bunch of moments and pretty funny sexual kind of things with her and Rito probably. I honestly can't wait to see how they end up doing it. How 
Rito reacts because you know Rito's reactions are always the funniest when these kind of things happen and yeah that's all I really got to say about the episode um episode was overall a good you know had lots of fan service lots of funny moments and stuff like oh I forgot to mention that part when um Nana was feeling after seeing Teriyu's you know whoa 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 um she was all like you know sad and then like uh and then Mom was like oh don't worry and then she just like ha huh. Like lifts her tits up and goes, huh? And like that doesn't help. Why? I was like, I'm trying to make you feel better. It's like, no, you weren't, Momo. You're being a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, overall, um, you know, good episode, funny moments, um, great fan service. Wish it was uncensored, obviously. And finally, we get the darkness and everything, and get this crazy ending where Yami's actually like a super perverted kind of girl, I guess. And I can't wait to see the next episode. And yeah, that's all I really gotta say. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And only three more episodes, so I wonder how that's going to end. But yeah, till next time, guys. See ya.